Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my analysis of The Tempest play by William Shakespeare and the 2010 film adaptation directed by Julie Tamer. The writer of the original play was William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was born on the 26th of April 1564 and died 23rd of April 1616. William Shakespeare wrote 37 plays. The director of the movie adaptation was Julie Tamer. Julie Tamer was born on the 15th of December 1952. Julie Tamer has directed eight movies. This play was written during the Elizabethan era. A lot of events took place in this era, including the colonization of America, which led to a lot of slavery in the world. The area of the adaption I'm going to discuss is the key scene where Caliban is summoned to do work for Prospero slash Prospera. I chose this scene because it is the first time we see Caliban in the play slash movie, and it shows the relationship between Prospero, Miranda, and Caliban. A similarity between the Tempest play and the film can be found when Prospero first enters the scene and says her first lines to Caliban. These lines were kept identical to the play in the movie. In both of the versions of this scene, Prospero slash Prospera speaks to Caliban with much contempt. This is especially evident in the film when Prospero is seen to be fed up with dealing with Caliban in the way that she speaks to him. An additional similarity that can be seen is the threats that Caliban and Prospero throw at each other stay consistent between both the play and the film adaption. This is especially apparent when Caliban threatens Prospero and Miranda with being drenched in dew by saying, as wicked dew as you are my mother brush with raven's feather. These threatening lines are presented in both the original play and the film adaption. In the confrontation of Caliban scene, a difference that can be ascertained between the play and the adaption is when in the Tempest play, Caliban says the line, I must eat my dinner. This line refers to the fact that when Prospero and Miranda confront Caliban, he is in the midst of eating his dinner. In the film adaption of The Tempest, this is never acknowledged. So this means that the food Caliban is eating in the movie could be at a different time to dinner, meaning that whilst making the movie, the crew could be more flexible with filming times as it didn't need to be at a certain time. Another difference in the script that I've found between The Tempest play and the 2010 film is in a line that Miranda says, being capable of all evil. What Miranda means by this line is that Caliban is capable of anything evil. In the Tempest film, this line gets skipped in the sequence entirely, which means that in the film, Miranda only says, "At horrid slave, which any print of goodness would not take, took pains to make thee speak, taught thee each hour. Which means that some key information ends up getting taken out of what Miranda says, and how she says that Caliban is capable of all evil, and that is why she pitied him. But in the film, she just says that she can't be trained, to be good, and that is why she has pity for him. The film adaptation wasn't the worst thing ever created by humans, but it could have been handled better. This movie is only an adaptation through being adapted from the play to the screen because the original script is mostly intact in the movie, apart from a few exceptions which I've covered. There are a number of lines from the original script that were either removed or changed in the Tempest movie. I liked how it showed themes of colonialism on the island in the form of Caliban as a slave. It made it relatable to other events that had happened in the past. The movie's pacing feels a little bit off to me compared to the text. It feels like some scenes just drag on way too long, including this scene. I feel like a lot of fat could have been cut for the sake of brevity for the film so that the point could have been gotten to quicker. 